what is up everybody welcome back Ruben takes all water fishing and it is just before sunrise I just launched and uh, let me tell you I'm really surprised that the water is as high as it is we have a very high tide uh, especially yesterday the wind should have been blown out of the north probably like around about 15 17 miles an hour and uh, I expected the water to get pushed back a little pushed out a little bit so I was really expecting low tide conditions but I guess it didn't blow hard enough or hard long enough but uh, we have very high tides uh, just getting out here I'm gonna really be targeting and looking for flounder today although it's October and uh, those redfish are moving in good numbers but uh, we just had our first little front and look at that I got a jacket on I can't believe it the water temp feels in the 70s a little cool um, kind of got wet to my knees launching here under the higher water conditions but right now I have a tandem go on I'm gonna start throwing that first also have a voodoo shad on and a spoon I'm not too sure what the water clarity is I'm hoping it's good fingers crossed but with those high winds you know you never know you can throw the water a little off so uh, we'll see what the day brings but thanks for tuning in thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh in a kayak again man it is too good to be true two weeks in a row in the kayak uh, let's get fishing all right let's see what's around this point see if we can uh get lucky so we got a flounder lingering kind of still skinning the area eye on the grass line see if we see anybody moving anybody bumping chasing bait somebody just someone just popped it smell it some small always cast out before I don't just like go straight to the point or straight to the grass line because a lot of times there's stuff in between there's a predator fish between you and that grass line or the drain or whatever I'm feeling bump bump bumps small stuff though might be a little flounder really can't tell if it's heavy no it's not heavy Oh, I might have a guy on. Can't tell. I'm gonna set my hook. There we go. Just a small fish. Small little. So is it a speckle trout or a sand trout? Small little sand trout. Couldn't tell you were on, buddy. Couldn't tell you were on. Well, first fish in the boat. Not what we were looking for, but. It's all good. He kind of he choked it a little bit. I'm gonna put the lipper on him just so I don't want to tear him up. Oh, that's somebody else. I dropped it on his head. Dropped it right on his head. Another sand trout. Oh, we found the sand trout. Woo! He got me wet. This one's a little bigger. Ah, he got off. Another little sand trout, I think. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Whew. That's a nice flounder. Uh, I'm working my way through the sand trail for this freaking flounder. Ooh, he's a thick one. That's a nice flatty. Yes, sir. That one works. 
this one I was thinking there were only sandies there. Look at that, it came right out. First I thought it was hung up. It just wasn't even a hit. It just but really tight. It's got a stick though. It's not a thick guy. So I'm saying they're starting to gear up to start migrating. So before they move, they start feeding a lot. Which means they're aggressive. Which means you get really good fillets. So you can see kind of hard to tell, but this guy's pretty pretty thick guy. Which is a which was what I was looking for. Right in the first place. I might get lucky, might get a second one there. Oh yeah, he's heavy too and thick. Nice 18 incher. Well, a little shorter than 18 with his mouth closed. He's gonna be a little shorter than 18. But he's a nice guy. Needless to say. Put on my awesome, awesome sunglasses one of my awesome sunglasses yep waterlands not only do they work well they also make me feel cool I'm a big fan of if it doesn't hurt try it you know there's another sand trout oh oh this one feels a little better oh that's why it feels better look <sighs> I got two for. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's safe to say that their sand trout are a little thick right now over here. When you safe to say that the old sandies are thick. Uh, that's funny. He's right underneath my kayak. <laughs> Dang it. That was a funky hook set. I'm always afraid of those. Because, you know, a lot of times those funky hook set like that will, uh, you know, you won't, you won't penetrate their mouth right. And they'll get off. Let me get back away from here. I'm kind of casting at this grass line right here. So I don't want to. Uh... And then I caught him kind of like right there. This is a windblown grass line, so I was casting and casting, you know, a grass line offers structure, and a lot of times the windblown is where the, uh, where the bait gets pushed in, so, uh, he might make it, um, really not too sure, he, he, he's a fighter though, he felt real heavy, you can see right here, I just kind of didn't really set that hook right, it was just in his mouth, just a little bit, right there. White gulp again. Get him measured up. He might be a little. He might be a little small. I'm hoping he's about 16. 16. Put him in a bag. But he's another little thick guy. Look! Look how thick he is. Look how thick he is. He's thick, thick, thick. Stop. So you can see how thick you are, fatso. <laughs> little thick guy. But uh. I don't think he's going to make it. He might be right there at 15, but I really don't think he's going to make it. Oh, yep, he is right at 15 inches with the closed mouth. He's going to be right at 15, but we're not going to harvest this guy. He's too close for comfort. We're going to let him make it, let him keep feeding. Love it, love it. See you later. He is gone. Hasta la vista. I'm going to cast this area some more. See if I can get a, a straggler. There's another one. Oh, he got off. That guy was a little smaller. But see, there was another one right there. He was a little smaller. And again, right underneath. Right here, right next to me. Which, uh. Which is what I don't want. Maybe I need to, I need to scoot away, and if I'm gonna cast right here, I think 
give myself a better place you need more leverage so when it's right on top of you and sitting that hook is always funky you prefer them to be further away then you can set the hook because they're flat so they set the hook like that you know but we're gonna come back again and see but that guy that guy was a little smaller maybe about the same size well guys that's gonna do it today you know what i came out had a great time came out did a little fishing caught a uh caught a couple flounder caught a ton of sand trout i caught a lot of sand trout and uh yeah another great day on the water i mean it's a beautiful beautiful day nice and cool this morning a little warm now got a little sweat going on but uh i had a really really good time i love fishing a kayak my favorite way to fish and uh, i'm gonna take this flounder home clean them cook them and uh hopefully we'll be back out here very soon i appreciate each and every one of you if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go and do so like the video leave a comment all of that really helps the channel out tremendously and until next time i hope you catch me hooking up thanks <laughs>